Hello and welcome to Writing Excel Formulas with ChatGPT. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at how to use ChatGPT to help us write Excel formulas specific to the data in our workbooks. The fastest way to do this is to head to Excel. Exercise one. All right, in this exercise, we have some data. We have a quarter column, we have a cust ID column, and we have an amount column. And we want ChatGPT to help us find the customer with the largest total. So this is not finding the largest value here, like the max of the amount column. This is actually writing a formula that returns the customer ID with the largest amount. So what we wanna do is we wanna to turn to ChatGPT. If you haven't used ChatGPT before, no worries. You can set up a free account. Just use the link in the description below. So what we tell ChatGPT is this. Please write an Excel formula that returns the cust ID for the largest amount. The cust ID column is C and the amount is column D. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so it says you can use the index and match functions together to return the cust ID for the largest amount in column D. The formula would be, and then it gives us the formula, and then it explains how the formula works. It talks about the match function, the index function, and what's really cool is we can actually click copy code, and then we can head back to Excel, and then we can literally just paste and hit enter. <laughs> so you can see that the benefit of using ChatGPT is that it actually writes the function in the context of where your data is. So it's actually using the right references, column C, column D. And so that can be a lot more efficient than heading out to Google and searching because it's just giving you the direct answer. Now let's see if it worked. So the largest value is 1134. And so that customer is STA301, and that is what ChatGPT's formula returned. Let's head in the next exercise, exercise two. All right, in this exercise, we wanna get help figuring out how to write a formula that returns the total of region S. The regions are in column C, and the amounts are in column D. So let's see if we can get ChatGPT to help us out. Please write an Excel formula that returns the sum of region S. The regions are in column C and the amounts to sum are in column D. So it comes back with, sure, you can use the SUMIF function in Excel to sum the amounts in column D for a specific region in column C. Here's the formula. Let's go ahead and copy that code. Let's head back to here and paste and enter, okay? And so as you can see, it's written this formula exactly to fit within the context and the data locations of our specific workbook. Now what's cool is ChatGPT has a memory. And so what we do is if we wanna tweak this a little bit, we don't have to retype anything. It's already got this sort of the most recent request in memory so we could say try again but this time let me store the region code in a cell like cell a1 so then it says sure you can use a cell reference in your formula to refer to the region code stored in cell a1 here's the updated formula so we can copy this we can head back over to here and we can paste and maybe instead of storing the region code in a1 maybe i want to actually store that in a6 and then i can go with s and then i can go with n okay and then i can go with e let's go to the next exercise exercise three okay in this exercise we want to write a formula that pulls the first name out of this full name column so let's go over to chat gpt please write an excel form formula that retrieves the first name from column B. Notes. The first row is nine. The format of column B is last name, comma, first name. None of the full names include middle initials or middle names, so don't worry about that. Okay, so it comes back with assuming that the full names in column B are in the format last name, comma, first name, you can use the following Excel formula. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this code. We're gonna head over to Excel. We're literally just gonna paste it and hit enter. <laughs> and it works. And ChatGPT also says to use this formula, simply enter to the cell and then copy it down to the other cells in the column. So we can literally just copy it down and we've got it. Okay, cool. So you can see what's really nice about writing formulas with ChatGPT is that you can be very specific, describe the data, 
describe where the data is in your workbook, and it'll return a formula that you can just copy and paste and use. Now, this is not gonna be perfect. Your mileage may vary depending on what you're trying to work on, but it definitely is a great place to start. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 